everyone, it's me, Estella. Today I'm going to be talking about how to get a 5 on the AP Biology exam. And I know some of you guys are wondering if you've seen my AP Sports reaction or like all the videos where I talk about it. The fact that I did not get a 5 on the AP Biology exam, but I actually got a 4. And yeah, I know I didn't actually get a 5, but I can tell you what not to do or what to do. So it's, it's the opposite of what I did to get that five because you know four is close enough so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and find it helpful and if you do please leave a thumbs up so that i know and also don't forget to subscribe and yeah let's get into the video <laughs> all right so the first mistake that i made was i spent about a week on the princeton review prep book when I probably should have been spending my time on the Bar time on the Barons book because it was way more specific and just honestly way better than the Princeton Review. So don't buy the Princeton Review. Just get the Barons, and seriously, that's literally all you need. It's the Barons. It has everything you could possibly need. So here is the Barons AP Biology book. This is what it looks like if you didn't know. Um. Just get this, seriously, you don't need anything else. The reason I got a four was because I got three hours of sleep the night of the exam and I skipped the last three ever cues because I pretty much had no energy left. Don't do that. And the reason, one of the reasons why I did that was because I felt like I didn't know enough because I had been focusing on Princeton Review and there was a lot of material in here that wasn't in the Princeton Review and that I thought would be on the AP exam. I definitely recommend doing both practice tests they are in some ways similar to the AP exam, but in some ways not. The AP exam was a little bit more conceptual in general, and honestly, the multiple choice was pretty much almost nothing related to biology. It was related to biology, but it was more like conceptual, like general science ACT kind of style questions, which was kind of weird. Um, and the FRQs were really random and just like really different than the ones in this book. So what I recommend is definitely just going the past like, three, four years since they changed the AP exam and just looking and reading every single one of the FRQs they had so that you get the gist of like the kinds of questions that they're gonna ask. It kind of just like throws you off in the beginning and then your like brain starts thinking about it. But yeah, I definitely recommend going over the old FRQs and using this book. There are also a couple outlines online that might be helpful, although I didn't really use them since I didn't have time. They're the Blue Valley K 12 like review that they have it's pretty long but it it's pretty good like review in case you just like want to take it with you when you're on the car on the bus or wherever there's also 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 word thought biology i don't really know if i pronounced that correctly um they also have an outline that's pretty similar to the previous one that i talked about but it's like also really can like condensed with material so it might be also good to take with you on like, trips or whenever you have a free chance to study it. So yeah, pretty much the AP exam was a lot different than I expected it to be. So just be aware of that. So I definitely recommend looking at old, you know, looking at the practice questions they have on College Board. They have like a PDF called like, the course description and you can see some practice questions there. They probably have like a release exam somewhere with multiple choice. Um, but they definitely have all the effort keys so you can definitely check those out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you did, please leave a big thumbs up so that I know and also good, <clears throat> sorry, good luck on your AP exam. You're probably really stressed out right now, but don't worry, it's going to be okay. Just don't leave anything blank, okay? And you'll probably end up getting a five. So um, anyway, good luck. And even if you don't want to get a five, you want to get a four or three, it doesn't matter. Good luck to you and study hard and we will survive AP exams. I promise you that. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.